Hey guys, Lost here, and welcome to another mod showcase here on the channel. And before we start, no, we are not reviewing the Like Nikes Mobs mod. Good guess though, because you can see that that maca there. But we are actually reviewing a Lucky Block mod. Re believe it or not, um, it's been a minute since we reviewed anything like this on the channel. So to start things off. If you guys are hyped for a Lucky Block mod, smash that like button. If this video can get to what, what what is my like goals? What what do I like making my like goals? If this video can get to ten likes, I greatly appreciate it, and it would show that you guys want to see more mod showcases on the channel. So if you hit that like goal, you might just happen to see two mod showcases next week. So let's see if we can make that happen. But that being said, let's hop right into today's showcase, and we're reviewing the Monsters Lucky Block. I've actually had this for a while now, so long that it actually updated once. So I've got the newest version of it. Do not worry. But essentially, what this Lucky Block adds is every drop that we've ever wanted in minecraft by what i mean by that is um this is it right here this is what it looks like let me place one down it looks pretty cool amazing and oh hello there and he's off so um lucky block monsters is a block that ha involves a lot of you know what you're gonna make a lot of noise i'm gonna peaceful you away you can't peaceful you away all right fine kill all command then kill all command it is um but yeah, so I'm essentially going to be in survival mode showing off half a stack worth of these lucky blocks since that was the first test and it gave me a uh, an evil guy. But um, I'm really excited to review a lucky block. It's been forever. So much so I'm kind of like lost to how this is supposed to go. But if you're wondering how to craft the lucky blocks, you need four bones, one gunpowder, and three ro or four run flesh. It's a pretty easy block to craft, but it, its results are pretty devastating. Now, I'm going to go in survival mode, but I'm also going to list off all the mods you're going to need to have installed for this to work. So, let me bring up that page on my other monitor really quickly. So, you're going to need, of course, the traditional lucky block mod. You're going to need the Twilight Forest mod, Lycanikes mobs, the Erebus mod, and the Stupid Things mod. Now, I've reviewed both Twilight Forest and Stupid Things and Lycanikes on my channel. So, you can check out all those. Erebus, I don't think I ever did review that. I did put it as a mod to review in the future in my uh, mods folder. So um, possibly I'll review that in the future. But those the other three mods I have shown off. So um, I believe it's not too much of an issue if you don't have any installed. It's just you won't get all the custom drops and whatnot. You can still open the block if you don't want to install any of the other mods. Or if they lag your computer too much, that's fine. You just won't get as crazy of spawns as you would have liked. So, we have keep inventory on. I'm going to see how long I can survive on this island, essentially, while opening these blocks. And if I have to move over to the mainland, I can. That being said, if you guys ever wanted to live on a private island like this off of mainland, this is the seed for you. Feel free to use that if you want. And uh, also, here's my starting chest. I'm actually going to grab the food, because I might need it. I'm also going to grab the axe to fight with if I need to. But, that being said, let's open our first block. Okay. Yeah, no. Uh, kill. I can't even kill all quick enough. Kill all. Yeah, I'm just going to be spamming kill all if there's too many mobs. But yeah, that was the... Uh, did it give me a message when it did that? I I didn't see it if it did. Um, ooh, a pickaxe. It's the uh, leaf... Or steel leaf pickaxe from Twilight Force. That's cool. I might actually need this to mine, so let me grab that right now. Uh, next up, we got a block of... What is this? The honeycomb block. Be be beauty is, essentially. Construct a honeycomb. That's, that's cool. That's from the Erebus mod. Oh, a giant me! Guys, look, it's a giant. It's a giant me. He's too strong. I'm just gonna... Yeah, he's dead. Alright, next. Blocks? What What do we have here? Exo blocks. Reinforced exo blocks. What can I... Oh, I don't think you can use them for anything other than what they are. Alright, that's cool. Next. Pants. Perfect. Um, night grave. So essentially, yeah, if you guys are probably realizing, it's just giving me drops from all the different mods. It's really cool, actually. Yeah, no thanks. No, no lava golems. No, bad. Oh, I just realized they have a whole thing of lava now. And fire, which means there's going to be the um, fire mob spawning until that goes down. You know what, let's just keep going. Next, a sword. Nine attack damage is better than the axe I got, I'll take it. Uh, trees. A lot of trees. They're dead though. They dropped... Wait, they dropped their arms? Ant... Ent arm level two. Hmm. It seems like a lot of things have changed in the uh, in the what is this that mod like a nice mob since I last reviewed it. I I would have done an update review for 1.12. It's just the mod takes is there's so much in the mod to go over. 
I'm probably gonna wait till at least 1.13's update before I like fully get in depth. And I know the mod's updated in 1.13. What do we have here? The improved stone hoe. Bam! Look at all that. Perfect. What are those? What are those things? I've never seen them before. Zephon? Zephons? Zev dead. Anyway, next. The Yeti Bob. Okay, that's just, that's hilarious. He's dead now, but. So it's just, a, it's Bob, but he's wearing the um, set from Twilight Forest. That's awesome. All right, next. What is this? Web Slinger can shoot webs out of your, oh, from your inventory. So I guess you need webs for, that's cool though. Um, what's next? Oh no, not the cop, the, the attack of demon. Ow. Okay. You're dead. Brought that upon yourself. All right, next. Oh, Steely Helmet. All right, I'll wear that. A little bit more protection for myself. Um, another sword. What's this one? Sharp is five Steely Sword. All right, that's better than what I got. Makas. You have gained knowledge rank one of the Maka Alpha. Check your bestiary or whatever. Is that this thing? Oh, yeah, they've definitely changed a lot. Okay, well... I can see I can see that mod's updated quite a bit since I've last touched it. Um, oh, more armor, perfect. I'll wear. Actually, is this better than what I've currently got on? Three, two, but armor toughness though. And that's five armor, six armor, one armor toughness, five armor. That's a little bit better I think as well. All right. Um, we got a sword, seven, not as strong as what I've got though, unfortunately. Um, oh, now I got the fiery set. I'm just gonna put the full fiery set on then. Bam. How do I look? And yes, this is going to be a little bit more of a lengthier uh, mod showcase. Just so I'm showing off some, most of the drops and... Oh, torch berries. Oh, no. What what happened? Why did I get attacked by the, the alpha Maka? Say it ain't so. Well, grab some of his uh, meat. That's perfect. Alright, what's next? Oh, hello there. You guys should be dead now. Yep. Ow, please don't burn me. Please don't burn me. It hurts. It hurts a lot. Yeah, when you kill, like, the, um, the leader guy there, he, he spawns in a pool of lava. By the way, I would have had Lycanikes installed, I think, on my, um, New World series, but I think I recall it not being compatible with something. So, that's why that isn't a thing. And, oh, we got the improved Diamond Hoe. Awesome. Alright, what's next? Oh, it's the decrafting table. That's awesome. So, decraft table from Twilight Forest. You can decraft stuff. Pretty cool. Uh, next up we got oh it's the helmet crabs uh yeah, narrator the helmet dead. narrates all no i don't want the narrator, narrator. stop stop narrates stop. chat i'm sorry Goodbye, narrator. narrator off bye narrator see ya i don't know why they ever add that into minecraft but i got food though i'm just gonna eat some food real quick Alrighty. moving on five blocks left though um another set that's fine a giant sword uh, what's this one got 2.5 attack damage. Oh, no. 2.5 reach distance. 14.5 attack damage. Okay, that's even better than what I currently got. It's got a giant sword. Oh, we got some maze maps. That's cool. Um, player in distress. This would you listen to me. To list. This chest may drop lucky blocks from lucky block pink and lucky block clay add-ons. Neither of those are installed, so it didn't drop anything. Rip. So is that a drop from the Lucky Block mod? No, that had to have been a drop from one of, from this mod. All right, so it's saying it wanted me to have those installed in flies. Um, I'm just gonna kill you right now. Yeah, flying wing and compound eyes. Ew, disgusting. Erebus mod, folks. Nothing but bugs. <laughs> but that is pretty much all there is for drops. I'd show off more, but I don't want to show off everything. And remember, most of those drops will actually, all those drops won't even be possible unless you have those mods installed. So again, you need Twilight Forest, Lycanikes, Erebus, Stupid Things, which I don't think we got anything in the Stupid Things mod, and um, the regular Lucky Block mod itself. I will have the download for this mod, however, linked in the description so you can check it out. And he has links and like references to all the other mods on his page, so you can check those out with that as well. So I hope you guys did enjoy the showcase. If you do remember, smash that like button, subscribe if you are new, and uh, yeah, see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.